Hello everybody and welcome to Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff. So I want to talk to you real quick about a product I found at Home Depot. It's called Super Glaze. And what Super Glaze is, is that it says that it's like putting on 20 or 30 coats of varnish. Maybe some of you have seen this. It has a resin and an activator. And what I did was I made a sign on the CNC machine, a simple V-carve sign. And I'm going to coat it with this Super Glaze and see what it looks like. So let's get mixing it together. Okay, so what the instructions say to do very clearly is to mix one part of Part A resin with one part of Part B activator into, before you mix it, you pour it into their own containers. Now I'll tell you this pint that I have is supposed to cover 3.2 square feet. So I'm going to go ahead and put three parts of A. And then we're going to take the B, the activator. And we're going to put three parts of the activator. I got to make sure I got it on the right three. Which is that one. Alright, so we've got our A and B mixed in separate containers. Let me get a stir stick and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we got us a little stir stick here, and it says very specifically to take part A and pour part A into part B. So that's what we're going to do here, like that. And it says mix vigorously for three minutes. And it's very specific about the three minutes to allow the air bubbles. You'll notice I also put gloves on now. My 11-year-old came out and said, Dad, don't forget your gloves. So here's my gloves. And I'm not going to bore you with the three minutes of mixing. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, so we have mixed for three minutes. And then it says to take that after you've mixed it for three minutes pour it into a fresh new container and stir for another three minutes. I don't know if y'all have ever stirred anything for three minutes, but it's not quite as easy as you think. And so we'll do that. There's a new container. Let me get to stirring for three minutes. I'll be right back to you. Okay, so the three minutes of stirring is up here. And now it's time to pour the mixture directly onto the wood surface and they say in the directions that it's self-leveling so you should be able to pour the mixture out all over the wood and it begins to self-level and I went ahead and got a sponge uh, brush if you will just to kind of make sure that we're we're getting an even coat of the mixture uh, all over the wood so I just wanted to be sure that all the edges were covered good and you'll see here as I begin to spread the mixture around pour some more on and uh, we get a really really nice finish
Okay, just continuing to spread it around, making sure that it's coated well. You can see that it's flowed over the edges. Really nice. I'll get a, uh, a close-up here so you can see how it came over the edge. Coated the edge very nice. Boy, look at the shine on that, would you? The light just reflects right off of that. Really, really neat how that finish turns out. And so what you want to do is you want to let it set up. The directions say about 7 to 10 minutes just so that it sets up a little bit. And then you're going to get some little air bubbles. And what you want to do with these air bubbles is just take a little torch and lightly go over. You don't want to singe the material. You just lightly go over the air bubbles and you'll see these air bubbles pop. And it just it, it becomes glass. It's like a glass finish all over the material and so I got rid of all of the air bubbles and then it was time to just sit back and wait a couple of days and let it dry so as you can see the the shininess is there look at that the light reflecting off came out really really nice and it's really thick too the finish really really thick and durable there and then on the back, I'll show you here, on the back I just sanded it down and, uh, and put a couple of coats of uh, wipe on poly. I didn't see the need to coat the back. You could if you wanted to. Anyway, that's the Super Glaze by Parks. This is Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff. Thanks for watching.